Hello everyone, and welcome back to Farming Simulator 22. We're back here on No Man's Land with Grover's Games. So last time we kind of kind of ended up up on a downside just because I ran the tractor out of the fuel, and I decided to do a little bit bailing in between just to help speed up the process. That way we can kind of get more into the next episode of what we want to be doing. Um, I've noticed this tractor is. She's a thirsty one, because we've already... Looks like we're almost already down a fifth of a tank. But, you know, when we're running high idle all the time like this, running the baler, I can understand why. Uh, one of the mods I'm trying out here, and I'm not sure how I feel about it, is called a, it's called a round baler extension mod. So, basically, when you get up to that point when your baler's about full, it drops the speed speed for you and if you have the automatic dump on you never have to turn cruise control off so it's been kind of nice I wonder if it should be it start kind of like does the slowdown at 90% when the warning sound goes off but I wonder if I kind of wonder if it shouldn't be 90 but I do kind of understand why especially since these wind rolls are just so thin and with the grass Grass being the way it is too, like we only we didn't have a very big rake to begin with, and we're we're all we also cut this grass pretty early, so it's kind of one of those double-edged swords things. I might turn it off here after this episode. I haven't decided yet. Um, right now, oh shoot, I forgot to change the time. The oh the game speed or. Yeah, the game speed for the time of day stuff. Put that back at six. But we we got a lot to do yet here. Um, I don't think we're gonna make my goal of getting those trees taken out tonight. Like, if we get all these bales moved, I think that's gonna be good enough. Especially since it's gonna be getting dark soon. It's already 5:30 in game time, and we still got the whole other side of the field over to the bale, which shouldn't take us that long. But the one thing I notice is this is this pickup's kind of picky with the wind rolls, so we're going to kind of have quite a bit of grass left over everywhere yet, but you know. It's one of those things that we kind of have to get used to because we're, unlike my hard, play, hard economy play on Elm Creek, this is, we are truly budget farming right now. Especially when you think how much we spent on the baler, the rake, the mower. I think we it was about ten grand we spent on all that stuff, and there's there's a few pieces of equipment that we're gonna need that unfortunately are a lot more than I want to be spending right away, like one of the, the rock pickers and even possibly picking up oh what was it? Pick Picking up a bale wrapper, I should say. Like this, the uh, mobile mobile one is twenty thousand, but I kind of want to. I kind of would rather invest into a stationary one personally, just because of what I somewhat have in mind for future ex future expansion out here for us to become more self efficient, since we are out here on our own and maybe start. And maybe it's to start bringing out community out here, so to speak. But that's quite a ways off right now, especially when you think we're only in our first year and we haven't even got our first field plowed under yet or anything like that. I think we're going to run over here quick, try to pick up these few swaths that I kind of missed. But yeah, this... This Oliver is a is a thirsty tractor, I've noticed, and that fuel barrel is a great mod. But it does it does put some realism in like how long it should take for something to fill up from it, I feel like. Grab this too. And this is the only thing with that round bale or extension pack. That is a little bit of a turn off for me. Just because when you kind of doing what I'm doing right now is like spot cleaning, so to speak. 
Hopefully we can get a bail out of this. There we go. Helmet um, makes spot cleaning a little bit easier over here now. But I'm not gonna I'm not gonna spend all day picking up all this stuff. A lot of it can stay where it lays, type ordeal. Eventually we'll Eventually it'll hopefully fade away and such. I haven't really had a chance to do too much ha haying in the game yet. Or bailing or whatever you want to call it. But I think the other thing is I might, one of the first things we might replace is that willow bar weight rake. Because it's kind of, I found it quite challenging to to run out here. Like I've never ran one before in real life so I don't know the correct method, so to speak, that you should be running it. I was just kind of winging it. To be honest with you, and don't get me wrong, it, it served its purpose, but I wonder if it would have been better off with that other style. But it's hard to say. So I feel like with this one, it makes, it's, with that, the one we got, not, the setup we got now, it makes the corners a little bit better. And I don't think the other one would be able to do the corners quite that way. Yeah. I'll have to get rid of that tree there too before we start plowing so we can... My plan is to extend this field all the way up to the rocks over here and kind of to where we have the grass mode. Right, get right close up to our boundary line of the property here. I think we can maybe get one more full bale out of this. Oh yeah, we should be able to definitely at least get one more in the partial. But no, you can tell this is not the prettiest looking wind road feet area, but you know what? It's our wind road area, and the best part is we got no neighbors to judge us out here yet. But I, I've been very happy with this Baylor investment. Like I said, the mod overall is good. They just need to put the PTO on it to the tractor and just fix that part there with the hay intake, which is not a, which I don't think is a, takes a whole horrible heck of a lot to do, but I am also not a modder, so I have no room to talk. And I've also noticed our Oliver's tires aren't getting really the green tint, but if you look at the muffler there and the air stack, all the grass green textures from the the real dirt mod are starting to collect there. So let's grab this. And I think we're going to have... We'll grab our... We'll grab our truck and trailer too and haul, haul it out there to get all these bail moves in a timely matter. And I think... I think we'll start a quick time lapse here. And when we go, when we head up to town, we'll kind of bring us out, out of that into the next day, where we'll, we'll finally decide what we're picking up for equipment-wise. Because I think we're, I think for now we might just stack all the bales right around where that, where we got the rock at, right, that rock right there. Because we... I think we got quite a few, quite a good amount of bale, more bales than I thought we would get. Holy cow, this thing's already down almost a half a tank already. Like I said, she's a thirsty girl. But yeah, we'll start the time lapse here. We'll see you guys in a bit.
All right. So that took a little bit longer than I thought. Well, took about what I thought it would. Been kind of kind of cheating here right now, letting the tractor fill up a little while we were sleeping. Sleeping through the night, so that way we don't have to wait all day for it. And it's still filling up, jeepers. But we're gonna, we're not gonna wait for it to finish filling, we're gonna, we're gonna get on our way here. Because I can always do that during the downtime, I just wanted to make sure I got enough fuel to get through this episode slash day today, so we're starting off early today. We got a lot on our list to do. I think we got all the bales last night. I kind of did a little drive around a little bit when it got dark there, but it was kind of hard to tell if I got them all. If I got them all or not. Ah, interesting. That wheel's not spinning at all. Okay, well that's weird, but... There it goes a little now, but oh what? Oh well, not a big deal. So today we gotta figure out. Well, we already know what we need, but we're gonna need a plow because we got or a subsoiler to do that one field. I think we're gonna stay away from picking up anything like any other tillage equipment for now. Cause we with the plow that should be able to get us through. To shut this off here we're gonna need so let's start with what we need first so that ain't a bad deal but we need to conserve our money yet so we're just gonna stay away from that so the first thing we're gonna look at is our fertilizer spreader situation and I've got a few options here and I think we're gonna go with the icon We'll go with the extension on there to give us a little bit more, a little bit more storage out of it so we can go a little longer. I think we'll go with the wheels and spraying sheet on it. We have four grand there. And then I know what cedar we're getting. We're getting the oldie but a goodie. We're gonna get a deer one right here, the 8350. Oh, I know on our farm, we, we had something similar. It was a Great Plains one similar size and style and everything we got that and now we need to look at whether or not we want to go into a subsoiler because i got the mod that allows you to basically chisel away chisel the ground or do we go with the plow let's see here where so 13 grand for this plow, that's about two meters. So it'd be the roughly the same size as the subsoiler here. But this subsoiler, so seven miles an hour. I'm not gonna, ch I got the mod that allows you to change equipment speed, but I'm not gonna do that. Not quite at this time. They're both seven miles an hour. I think uh, subsoiler is going to pull up bigger rocks. And we decided to go with roller. Well, let's see. Let's look at the stone pickers. I probably passed it, didn't I? Yep. 25 grand for a stone picker. Or we can get the iconic one. We could change the color if we want on it. On deer green, bent classic. That crimson red looks really cool. Now we don't need to add more weight to it. I think the, the Oliver is probably going to struggle running it as is, to be honest with you. So, either way, we're going to need one. So, I'm. I might as well. So, we're. Just, uh, I think we're just going to go with the subsoiler because in the end, I'm going to, I'm going to like it a little better and it's just going to work better for 
the way I like to make fields, so. So what we got here, we got a fertilizer bag. We we'll got, I wonder if it's worth buying that over. We'll give it a shot. I mean, we'll get one of each. I think we won't, won't need much more than that. The other thing we'll need is, we'll get eight, ba eight bags of lime. I think we'll go through it pretty easily. Into that, I've just wasted a bunch of money needlessly, so we'll get this set up here. Oh, 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 nope, nope. Come on, work with me here, Chisel. Are you gonna ride on this trailer okay? Kind of? Maybe? No, I'm um, guess. Don't want to cooperate with me. So what if we put you... Okay. Let's just slide you a little bit forward. We still got to get all our bags of fertilizer and stuff on. Get our little spreader here. Get this on there close. There we go. That should be n enough space. So let's get into the truck here. Oop. And that was my own fault. Son of a... Oh boy. It's gonna be one of those days already in here for the month of April. Alright, rotating this again and see if we can get this up here just right again. Fool me once, guy. Fool me once. But we'll put this bag of seed back here. That should not be too finicky, I hope. Wrap that down. Then we'll have to get all our lime loaded. And we still got to get our one bag of fertilizer on here. We got quite a bit going on today. Like I said, right? And when you think about it, if we buy that rock picker, we're going to be down to 13-ish grand, I think. If I'm doing the math right in my head, roughly right now. Which isn't terrible, but it's not going to be great for us. I guess one thing I didn't think about, I hope that Oliver can handle that chisel. I mean, it says I only 80 horse, but... You never know with certain mods. Some... It's kind of funny how some of them work out. Some of them will... Like, say, well, you need this much horsepower and you can pull it... You can run it pretty easily with a, with a tractor with way less horsepower. And sometimes it, it makes sense... It makes sense it should be running with less horsepower, at least in my eyes. Oh, jeez. Stacking perfection. Turn off that. And there's all. This truck is... The suspension of this truck is feeling it right now. So right now... Well, I think the first thing we'll do when we get back besides getting everything unloaded. We'll unload most, we'll probably leave most of the bags on there so that way we can just run it straight out to the tractor. We're gonna get, we're gonna get our oats planted for sure. Oh, excuse me, trying to clear my throat here. Oh jeez, that suspension is screaming on the truck right now. But you know what, we need to get this this is going to be a little bit faster to get back than trying to bring the tractor all the way down here, especially the older older model tractors are not necessarily the fastest thing in the world. Granted, tractors are not the fastest to begin with. I wonder why it shows the the big bag of seed only like at sixty at sixty four percent. I feel like that should be completely full. 
But we got our little setup here. And be good to go, and then we'll have to think about next season. Granted, this drill is a no-till drill, so we really don't need any other tillage equipment, which is going to be good for the environment, at least, for the most part. You know, we won't cause as much soil erosion and such like that. Uh, she is a struggling good. But I know definitely before... Once we get this field all planted, we are going to take the last of those groups of trees down for sure. So let's get the drill dropped off there. So the first thing we're going to do here quick is... Oh. Yeah, we can. There we go. I always forget that we gotta. Well, that's our seed there, so let's do that strap. We're gonna cheat a little bit here, even though I know we got the big bag left here, but we're just gonna get this stuff separated from the lime for now. So that way we don't accidentally fill up the lime. Get that. Another thing we'll have to think about putting up is see if we can put up a little log shed somewhere. Granted, we might wanna. We might actually want to get an actual living place. I mean, living in a tent is fun, but we can't can't do that year round. No, I'm definitely not a camping person in reality. So that that's something we'll have to fix here when we start when we start logging again and have a good amount of cash on us. Let's unhook that there for now. Drop this weight off here. I suppose I should could change my attire. I haven't been logging lately, but you know. Pro yeah, we probably could for the after this episode change our attire because for the next few episodes we won't be doing as much logging, so we won't need all our proper protective equipment and such. Oh, hope she can. It's gonna be the moment of truth. I hope this tractor can handle it. Oh yeah, he's handling it like a dream, so. Let's just set the crews down a little bit. We're already digging up quite a few rocks, but this, we can't, we knew that was gonna happen. And instead, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna go down here this way. I don't see any bales out there, so we must've did, did a pretty dang good job fetching them all too, so. Let's stop right there. We're gonna start this corner here. My OCD is kicking in for making a field here. Oh, yep, that's one thing I didn't. We'll have to go back and definitely pick up a, the rock picker. So, uh, we'll stop about right there. Should be about perfect, to be honest with you. Probably one of the only few times I really wish I had GPS right now to get the perfect, like, square up in the field here. It's because, like I said, it's one of my OCD things, even though this field's not going to be a perfectly squared one. We'll have to get over a little bit more because we're missing a little strip right there, I've noticed. Uh, I forgot to take that tree out here. Do that quick here, get the stump grounded on. No, I... I'm feeling pretty, pretty decent right now. Let's throw it up here on the rocks. Be pretty hard to miss that. But maybe. I want to be up here. Uh, come on. All right. Set that there. Get back on the old owl over here. I 
think we're just going to kind of follow the curve we mowed. That way we don't get too super close to the rocks. And if it grounds a little unlevel, it'll be a little bit easier to manage. Like so. Must be an unlevel spot right here. Yeah, we'll have to we'll have to go through with the editing tool and fix this a little bit at the end. So grab that. Come on. There we go. The one thing with this mod I'm noticing, it's kind of hard to tell where your, like, edges, so to speak, if that makes sense. That'll be plenty enough. But, you know, we don't really have the horsepower to get anything too much bigger or fancier and plus this this is in the budget so we just can kind of keep this straight but I like how it's going so far uh oh had a little bit of a jitter there with this animation and everything. I wonder what was going on. I suppose all those bales sitting there probably isn't helping either, but I know I don't have a bad graphics card or anything like that, but that's a little further ahead. There we go. Perfect. Can I pick that up? Nope, oh, that's just part of the environment. Okay. There we are. We got our Outside boundary done. We're just gonna have to edge a little bit over, it looks like here. There we go. Back up a little. There we go. I can make that maybe work now. Oh, geez. See, this is what I mean when I'm making fields, I get really OCD, especially when I'm trying to make like a perfect square field. bit of lip there. There we go. As long as we don't pick up another little nudge, we should be fine. I think I'm going to go through with the editing tool and paint over mo all these bushes over here just so I can get that kind of eyesore out of my way. Like, I don't mind a few of them, but Grant, we're out in the wilderness. This, this is a little more than to my liking. Come on. Nope, okay. I thought that'll work. I'm just gonna redo this lip here. And once we got that done, we'll have we'll have this field pre uh, pretty much outlined and then we'll jump into the time lapse here. We still got a good amount of time in this episode yet. And then we'll We'll probably have to head back with the truck. And pick up the rock picker. I thought it, it's we just it's just needlessly to be kind of pointless to we got the money we might and we're already gonna be tight on a budget. Uh, we're gonna fix this right away. Where's the construction tab? And I just so you guys are aware, I got that like paint anywhere terraform mop. Terraform mod, so that way, and the free mode, because I feel like, personally, uh, which, I don't remember which key was to change the brush shape. There we go. I think, yeah, right there. That's going to be perfect. Just hold that there. Thank Lord, get rid of that bush, too. Let me get rid of this one. Push. There we go. Just so I can see the edge a little better. I think we're gonna... Yeah, we're gonna give a little bit more space here. That's gonna...
Not gonna be perfect, but you know what? It's gonna be better than what it was, at least in my eyes. Maybe. Or maybe it's just gonna drive me insane. Who knows anymore? Maybe we're already succumbing to forest madness. I think we can get this picked up already, yep. Let's go around here. Alright. I can live with that. For now. But yeah, so. There we go. And I'm gonna have to figure out the sweet spot for this as well yet. Because we keep missing little tidbits like that. Especially since we're gonna... I think if we just keep the... There we go. Kind of like we're plowing there with the one wheel dipped into the ground there. I think that's exactly the right width we're gonna need. But no, I think we're at the point here where we're gonna jump back into this time lapse here. And... I would like to say we like get this field completely plowed before we before I call it the end of the day for the episode, but who knows anymore? Like I, we've already know my sense of time. We can't trust my judgment of time, but wonder. Oh, can I lean? Uh, dang. I was wondering with a realistic cab mod if I could kind of like lean over to the side, like have my head over the fender here to make it. Make it a little easier to see where the wheel's running, but if we just run like this, just keep our eye on whatever we side we're on, I think we should be good, so. We'll try and see. We'll press that to nine. We'll do a few more, quite a few more outside passes. And then we'll be able to go, go the way we want, so we'll. We'll see you guys at the towards the end of the episode here. I think we might put we might push this episode a little longer now that I think about it, just to at least get this done, and then we can, we'll start the next episode bringing back the stone picker. I think that's what the plan is right now. But we'll we'll see you guys in a bit.
All right. So we're about finished up here. Um, it looks like that didn't take nearly as long as I thought it was going to take. This Oliver is proven to be a very useful tractor. Good thing is with pulling this ripper, it's not running high and idle all the time. You know, in reality, it would be. We haven't burned through too much of our fuel yet, but I'm sure there will be plenty of opportunity for us to burn through quite a bit of it like we did with when we were cutting grass and baling. Because we still... We'll still have more of that going on, like I said. I think at the top of that hill over there, we're going to cut all that, and then we'll eventually put up a pasture is what I'm kind of hoping to do if we get enough money set away. But the, I think the first thing we'll have to do before we start doing that is that we'll probably probably have to invest into a bale, bale wrapping system so that way we can make silage and start making pretty good... Pretty decent money at least, that way when we start acquiring new land we can just cut the grass right away and roll it up and wrap it up. I think that's, I think we got everything, yep. Uh, this has been such a good little tractor so far, we only got almost three hours on the thing, which is kind of hard to believe. And it's almost 10 o'clock in game, so I feel like we're making pretty good time right now. I'm gonna stop right here. Let's fill up while we close out the episode for the day. But yeah, we're gonna we're gonna end it here for the day. Um, like I said, I think the only thing I might do in the meantime is I'll, I'll probably unhook the truck and go pick up that rock pick that rock picker that we were looking at, and just cause it doesn't look too terrible. But it's definitely gonna it's definitely gonna need to be picked. Like we get we gotta try and maximize our our yield right away. So we because uh, one thing I don't th I think that's gonna happen too is that we're probably not gonna be able to sell it at the most optimal pricing. Kind of a little unleaving spot here, but I don't think we're gonna be able to sell it at the most optimal price, unfortunately. For us, just because I don't think we'll we'll make enough money in time to to put up our bins like we want, but we got quite a few bales here, so we already got a pretty good start at our first seat, first spring here. And then I think the only other thing I might do in the meantime, I might go go across and make the outline, make the outlines of the next two fields, even though. We can't make the one I want until I take out those trees over there. But otherwise, if you guys enjoyed the episode today, please give it a thumbs up so that way I know we can keep continuing with the series. I'm starting to really get into it and enjoy it myself. Um, if you're enjoying the co content of the channel, please subscribe so you can stay up to date with everything. Above all else, I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day. And thanks for watching. <laughs>